Hey guys, it's Ma and welcome back to my channel. So I literally haven't talked to you guys in forever and I'm really sorry about that. It's because I have so much going on. I've just been so busy so I apologize for that. So for today's video I want to do something a little fun and different and I recently just got the brand new iPhone 10 or the iPhone X whatever you want to call it and I just wanted to show you guys what's on my iPhone. So if you guys want to know what's on my iPhone just keep on watching. Okay so this is what the iPhone looks like. It is all screen and then this is the back of it. If you guys want to know where I got this case from, I'll leave it in the description below. I got it from Amazon, but I'll just leave the link down there. So check it out if you want to see this case. The difference between this phone and the other ones is that it's obviously all screen. And it's a little bit bigger than I think the iPhone 8. So that and the camera. The camera is like vertical. Duh. Also, <laughs> there's no home button. So in order to like unlock your phone, you have to like swipe up. And it's there's no like fingerprint sensor. It's face ID so you have to use your face to unlock your phone okay so this is my lock screen and my background is just a marble print like background that I found from Pinterest if you guys want the link to that that'll be in the description below too but I just wanted to show you guys see that little lock on the top like right here on the phone that just means that it detected my face and then like I can go and like swipe up to unlock my phone but these are all my apps and I don't really like putting things in little folders like this so I just have them categorized by page. So I'll go through all of these. The first page is just like basic everyday things that you'll need like calendar, clock, safari, app store, like you know, normal stuff. And then there's photos and then I also have Google photos because every single time I have like too many photos in my photos and my storage gets full, I like to put them in Google photos because Google photos takes up like no storage at all. So I just like to put all my pictures in there and then I have the weather app which I don't think it's the one that comes with the phone. I don't really like the one that comes with the phone. So I just delete that and I get this one. Then I have notes and inbox. Inbox is basically just an app for your emails. I don't like the app that comes with the phone because this one's just better. It just categorizes all your mail and like I don't know. It's nice. It's good. You know normal basic stuff um then i have reminders and then shazam i think everyone knows what shazam is basically if you're like somewhere and you hear a song that you don't know and you want to know like the name of it you could just press tap to shazam and it'll tell you the song and the name of it um then i have google maps and i used to use waze but i like google maps better and it's more accurate than waze or the app that comes with your phone so i just use that and then i have three so Blackboard Planner Pro and my homework is just it's just apps for my like for school. And basically Blackboard's the app that all the teachers like post the assignments on. Okay, so the next app is Planner Pro and this is just like a planner where you could put in like your homework, anything you need to do that day. So I just have it right here and basically like I have it all set so like it tells me like when I have breaks, when I have finals and everything and you could just like put when things are due and you know it's just a planner app like normal stuff so instead of like actually getting a planner and like writing it down this is just so much easier then I have the my homework app which I also use because it's connected to the one that's on my laptop and this is just another app where it just tells you like what assignments you have to do and like all of that so then I have a folder called useless ish and that's just like stuff that like you know it's just like useless stuff like voice memos, find your iPhone, Bitmoji, like just those apps that I don't really need and I just have to keep on my phone. So I just throw it in there and there you go. So the next page is my social media page, like where I have all my social media and just stuff that I use like mostly like every day when I'm bored and all that. So the first thing I have is Instagram. You guys should definitely follow me on Instagram. It's just Malani Shah right there. This is my page. Um... But yeah, so I just have Instagram, then I have Snapchat. You guys can also add me on that. Ooh, hello. You guys can add me on there too. It's just Malani Shaw. Then I have Twitter. You guys can follow me on Twitter too. I don't really use it, but I do want to start using it. And my username for that is Shaw 99 I'll have all my social media in the description below if you guys 
want to check it out. Then I have WhatsApp. So basically WhatsApp is just an app that you can talk to people from other countries. So I just have a lot of family that doesn't live in the US, like they live in India or they live in like England. So I just use that to communicate with them. So then I have Facebook. I don't really use Facebook. I just have that for like family and stuff like that. Then Facebook Messenger. Okay, so then I have Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I go for makeup inspiration, outfit inspirations. I just, I love my Pinterest. Like I literally have so many posts about like makeup and like outfits. I just love going on Pinterest to look for outfit ideas or like makeup ideas that I could do that day. Yeah, then I have Visco. I love Visco for like editing my pictures. Like for example, this one. I like, I literally have like every effect ever, but I love editing my pictures with Visco. If you guys want a video on like how I edit my photos and everything, let me know and I'll do that next. And then I have YouTube and YouTube Studio. So basically, YouTube's obviously the app where you watch all the videos and like blah, 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 but YouTube Studio is the one that helps me like look at my, my subscribers and the comments and it just helps me in like the, an, like the ana, ana, analytics, ana, analytics, analytics. I don't know. It just tells me like all the information about my channel and like how many like views and like if I, it's just easier on there to comment back to people too. So the next thing I have is daily horoscope. Um, I personally do believe in horoscopes. I don't know. Do you guys? Just leave me in the comments below. Do you believe in horoscopes and like stuff like that? I do, but I'm a Libra and this is my horoscope for today. Every single day I do go on here and I read my horoscope because I don't know it's just like something that I have to look forward to in the day and see if it actually happens and I don't know I find it interesting. Um, next I have an app called Collaborate and so this is just an app where public like figures and influencers they could just go and like collaborate with companies and they find companies and the companies will like let them promote their products and like stuff like that so I just have that um, then I have GroupMe. I don't really use GroupMe, but I just have that because a lot of people like to make group chats on there because if you have people with like Androids and iPhones, it's just easier to do it on GroupMe than have it with like text messages because I hate when people text me and it's green and it says text me. Like, no, 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 just don't text me then. SoundCloud I just have because well, I have SoundCloud because I know a couple people that make music and they just have accounts on there, so I listen to their music on there and also SoundCloud has pretty good music, so... I just have that. Okay, so on the bottom, I have my messages, phone, Spotify, and settings. So the reason I have it like this is because messages, I'm always texting, so like I have to have it there. It's just easier to have it on the bottom of the screen. I have the phone, so if I ever need to make a call, I can just click there. And then Spotify, because I love listening to music. Like once I get into my car, I put music on either, or like once I'm somewhere and if I'm bored, I put music on. So Spotify is a must to have on the bottom right there. And then settings because I'm always going into settings either to like turn on my data, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, like all that. Um, so the next page is all of my shopping and my money related things. So I have TD Bank and that's just like so I could check my balance on my account and, and like my card and all that. Then I have Venmo. So Venmo is an app where you can basically pay back people so for example if you go out with your friends for dinner and you pay for them they can pay you back on Venmo and it goes straight to your bank account got M's in my bank account one two three four five six seven eight M's in my bank account the next app I have is Starbucks and that's just so if I go to the mall and I want Starbucks I could either just order on my phone and also you like you could put money on this app and you could just pay from here too. So you could just go in here and like reload, manage, whatever. Um, and you could pay with your phone. So it's just so much easier. You don't need to take out a card or anything. Um, then I have Amazon. Amazon, I love Amazon. I just love Amazon for everything. I buy my phone cases on there, my screen protectors. I'll buy like, if I need like anything I need, I will get it from Amazon. Like I love Amazon. I'd rather like shop on Amazon than go to the mall or go to like CVS and get whatever I need. Like it's just so much easier and it comes in two days because I have Prime so it's just better that way. Um, then I have the Sephora app and this is just, you know, just like when I want to order makeup or stuff. Usually I love online shopping so online shopping I feel is just so much better than like shopping in the store because I hate looking through outfits like I can never find anything in the store it's a mess so I just feel like online shopping is so much better it's just Sephora and then 
I just buy my makeup from here and I just get it from the app, send it, whatever, blah, 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 blah and it'll just come to my house. It's nice. I have the Ulta app and I don't know if Ulta is every. I'm pretty sure Ulta is everywhere, but Ulta is just a beauty store that sells drugstore and high-end makeup and they also sell like hair products, um, like face masks, like everything. They sell everything. They also, I think some Ultas also have like a hair salon in their like store. But I love Ulta and I love Sephora, so those are like two musts that I have to have on my phone. So the next app I have is Poshmark, and basically Poshmark is just an app where you can buy or sell clothes. So you could buy people's clothes or you could sell your own clothes. And I don't really sell anything on here, but I do buy other stuff. Like for example, like a month ago I bought a windbreaker from here. It was like $68 in store, but on here it was like pretty, it was like cheaper. It was like 40 or like 35 or something around there and it wasn't even used like the tag was still on it so you could look at like the condition of the product and you can also look at like um like they'll like put pictures up of the product and you could just like see so like for example these like sandals you could see like how they look up how like they are so they look a little used but let's see how much they are they're 135 and they're originally 228 so and you can also offer them a new price and then you guys can like negotiate on a price so that's why I like Poshmark um then I have Urban Outfitters I don't really shop from Urban Outfitters that much but when I do I just use the app like I don't like going on the website so the app's just easier then I have Forever 21 I love Forever 21 like I buy everything like this is from Forever 21 everything's from Forever 21 half my closet is from Forever 21 um, then I have ASOS. So I don't know if you guys know what ASOS is, but ASOS is basically just an online store, so they don't have any stores. Um, they have clothes, backpack shoes, like a lot of things, and it's really like nice like material. Like their clothes are very good quality. Like their clothes are very good quality. I have Victoria's Secret Pink and like, you know, that's just like where you get like everything. I love clothes from Pink too. Like I love getting like sweatshirts from Pink and like stuff like that. And obviously like underwears and bras, but I just have that. The last page on my phone is the page where I have all of my picture editing apps. So these are all my apps that I use to edit my pictures. Um, so the first app on this page is Facetune. Um, this is my friend Rama and basically, so the other day I was just editing her selfie and basically I just love this app. This is my number one app to edit any picture because you can just like smooth out your face or like enhance your features or something like looks weird in the background you could like remove it but if you guys honestly want to know how I edit my photos and how I do all that I will make a separate video about it if you guys want it so the next app I have is Moldiv and in all honesty the only reason I use this app is to either square crop my pictures or rotate them so basically so when you take a picture on your phone like in camera not snapchat it'll rotate it and I hate that. it'll like flip it so I hate that about like Apple because it didn't it doesn't even have anything that you could flip it back like in its own like you know picture options or whatever so I have to use this app to flip it back so I usually just hit, go to rotate and I'll like flip it back or whatever and then or if I wanted to square crop the picture I just go to square crop and I could just do whatever to it but yeah and there's also other things on this like uh, app that you could do like you like sharpen highlights tones everything about that but I usually use visco for that because I like visco better for that so then I have afterlight so afterlight is just an app where you could put effects on your pictures for example this one this one already has an effect but for example this picture I could like do anything to it I could put effects on it so I like the effects on um, afterlight and visco so visco and afterlight are like the two apps I use for effects because they have like nice effects and you could like you know like make it like for example this one you didn't want the effect to this extent you could like you know like lower and like all of that like blah blah, blah. but that's after light um so pixar i really like to use pixar for collages so when i'm making like a birthday collage for my friends or if i want to like put all like, these photos together i'll use pixar for that then i have retouch retouch i love this app like i love it so retouch is Basically, like, if there's something in the background that you don't want to be in the background, you could, like, remove it completely. So, for example, I don't really, like, okay. If you guys are wondering why there's so many selfies on my phone, it's because I recently took a bunch of selfies and I, all my other photos, I upload to Google Photos and then I, like, save these and, okay. You know what? I'm not, there's no explanation, okay? I like to take selfies. I like to take selfies. If I go back to, like, this picture and I wanted to take out... So this is obviously like a Snapchat filter, but if I wanted to take out like that leaf right there, I could go to like object removal and just put
put that like all over and then it'll like remove it so like that's like pretty cool like that and then obviously you'd have to like work with it but I'm just showing you guys quickly but you'd have to like so like for example like all of this stuff that's still there you just go like over it again and then just press go and then it'll like go away and it'll like look like it was never there so I love this app for that two apps I have are Planoli and Unnum so Planoli um I haven't really, so that's like a newer app that I have. I haven't really tried it out yet, but basically you could schedule your Instagram post. What you could do is you could upload your Instagram post to here and then you could have it scheduled for either like tomorrow at 4 or like today at like 3. So you could schedule it whenever you want to post it. So I haven't really tried that yet because I usually use Unnum and Unnum's basically the same thing. So Unnum's basically the same thing, but this just lets you see how your feed is going to look if you do post a picture. So for example, these two selfies, I was choosing between them and I wanted to see which one look, would look better in my feed. Like these are obviously old, but well, which one would look better in my feed? And it just like lets you see how it looks with all of your other pictures. Um, then the last app I have on my phone is Symbol. So basically this app I just like to use for like little symbols like for example arrows like if I want an arrow I could just go to like one of these and copy and paste it into like my text message or my bio on Instagram or like stuff like that but that's just an app for that so that's basically it for all my apps the last thing that I did want to show you guys is how to work the iPhone X so basically there's no home button on this phone so obviously it's a little different so I'm just gonna show you guys like how it works and everything like that so for example, if you go to like Instagram and you want it to go back home, <laughs> I just hope my friend Ami watches this video and sees this picture of her. <laughs> I love you, Ami. I love you. But basically, if you wanted, so this is like, I'm on Instagram right now and if I wanted to go back to my homepage, I just swipe up and it just goes back. And then the control center is on this side. So that's just where like you could correct, like you could control the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, your brightness, blah blah blah. And you could also like customize all of these like down here in settings. If you don't want some of them there, you don't have to put them there. If you want more, you could add more. So then you just swipe up, go back to the home screen, and then if you do it from the middle, that's where you get all of your notifications. Another thing is you can't double click to erase your memory. You have to like, oops, sorry. You have to like go up and then hold. And then what's really irritating and I hate and I hope Apple fixes is that in order to delete, you can't just swipe up anymore. You have to hold it down and either swipe up or click like the little like red like I'm, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to hold down my screen for one second. Like who do you think I, you really think I have time to do it? Like no, why can't we just swipe up? Like I just hope Apple brings that back. So in all honesty, I love this phone. I went from the iPhone 6 to this phone, so that's pretty much like a really big like upgrade. But I love this phone so much. And I also, the camera on this is so good, guys. Like, I don't want to take pictures of myself anymore because the camera on this phone is like insane. Like, it'll show every little detail on your face and blah, blah, blah. And also what I was thinking is because the camera is so like good and all that, I really want to start like vlogging. So maybe I'll do like vlogs like here and there about like, you know, if I just go like out one day, I'll like vlog it. I really do want to start vlogging and all of that. So, um, yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was on my iPhone X. I hope I didn't bore you all or talk too fast because I feel like I talked way too fast in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up below if you did like it. Oh my god, I have to go. Okay guys, so basically I had to stop recording and leave because I had a doctor's appointment. I completely forgot to film an outro, so I'm just going to say bye to you guys now because I have some other things to do, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up below and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.